So we finally have some very big changes coming to the competitive play on Arena. And these are some much needed changes and changes that I know a lot of people have been waiting for, myself included, most of the frustration that came from, you know, qualifier weekends and just, you know, trying to qualify for the arena championships was just that it was a, it required a ridiculous amount of luck, basically, just due to the nature of the system. As you can see here in front of me, we have qualifier weekend day one. The current system is you need seven wins to qualify for day two and your run ends on two losses, which means that you have to go 7-0, which is completely insane. And also you could go 7-1. But once you end two, you're out. So now this is changing in a really good direction. We have a three loss buffer now. And that means you're basically doubling the amount of losses you're allowed to um, have, basically. So going from one to two is absolutely massive. It's kind of like doubling anything. And when you double something, it's automatically a massive, massive change. And uh, this is no exception. So having two loss buffer instead of uh, those seven one records, so now you can go seven two is absolutely massive. And it, it does change the uh, amount of players, the amount of uh, the likelihood of you making it to day two is uh, very much improved. Now for the qualifier weekend day two, a lot of really, really good changes as well. Now, instead of seven wins, you only need six wins to qualify for the arena championships. You no longer get a PT invite though but um, that is totally fine in my opinion. And if you get six or fewer wins before before these changes, if you got six or fewer, it was based on the leaderboard, whether you get you qualify or not. And now if you get between one and three wins, you get an invite to the next qualifier weekend, which is absolutely huge. And if you get four to five wins, so if you're really close to making it to the arena championships, well, you just make it straight to day two in the next qualifier weekend. And that's also huge. So a lot of quality of life improvements, a lot of streamlining for the overall qualifi qualification process. And I think this is very, very good news going forward. Another thing to note is I you won't see it here, but the, I think the amount of losses you're allowed to have on day two is still going to be one. So you have to go six and one or six zero to qualify for the arena championships. But again, with all these other rewards tied into it, it won't feel as bad uh, losing um, or not getting to the amount required to qualify directly. So yeah, it's still going to be hard, but it's going to be um, a lesser burden on your mental, I think, at least uh, if you're really close to making it on day two, you'll be like, okay, I'll just make it to day two immediately in the next qualifier weekend. So it's not as bad. Probably it will still feel pretty bad when you get five wins, but it is what it is. At least you have some form of compensation. And finally, we can talk about the arena championship itself and the very, very good changes coming to it. We have an uncapped amount of players now from 32 to uncapped is absolutely fantastic. I don't know exactly what the increase in players is going to end up being, but I guess we'll have to find out once um, once it happens. An increase in pricing, which is huge. The 50K is, is well, um, <laughs> well appreciated. And finalists invited to the World Championship. That stays the same. And top 16 players qualified to PT. So instead of having your PT qualification tied to you know, day two, seven wins on the qualifier weekend. Now it's top 16 for the arena championships. And that makes totally, uh, that makes a lot of sense in my opinion, because you're lowering the threshold of entry anyways. So, you know, since you only need six wins compared to seven, that's massive. And sure, top 16 is probably totally fine um, to qualify for the PT anyways. But um, yeah, these are massive changes. These are very good changes. And uh, I hope they just, you know, keep improving on the system. I think it's already going to be in a really good spot, but, you know, can you, there can always be more improvements, obviously. But this looks to be very, very solid. And uh, it might just be pretty much perfect at this point. I don't even know. But it's looking really good. And I guess we'll see. It's going to be implemented in May, so pretty soon. I'm definitely looking forward to participating in the new version of the Qualifier Weekend. And uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people are too. And the people in charge of making this, these decisions have really nailed it this time. So props to them. I think Huey is on that team. So really good stuff, Huey. And whoever else is uh, working on that uh, competitive design team. Uh, yeah, very much appreciated and uh, look forward to participating. Anyways, expect a standard metagame deck tier list from me in the next video. I'll see you next one.